uh, the goal went out? We, uh, we feel like we still have enough to win. Uh, obviously, not having a big fella in the game down the stretch hurt us because we're kind of looking for something to do. Uh, but no, that was a winnable game for us. Yeah, we'll play a lot of possessions, too many possessions. How proud are you of both the kind of resiliency and the fight that you guys showed with, with that, that big fella? I'm proud, man. I'm proud. No, um, things like this happen. Uh, hopefully, he's not out too long. What's your concern level? I don't know if you've talked to him at all. Not too concerned. Uh, he seems all right. He seems in good spirits. Uh, you had one of your best games probably, you know, since the trade. Um, what, what was efficient, getting downhill? What was working so well for you? Uh, I, mean, I was just getting to the cup. You know, I was attacking. Um, all comes down to it. You know, I was just being aggressive, getting my spots. Um, And tonight you went away from it. Uh, you guys had 30 lead changes with the Jazz tonight. Well, what have you learned about the resilience of this team four games in the season, especially tonight? I mean, uh, build a great habit. They, uh, everybody works hard. Everybody works smart. So down the stretch, we're going to be able to rely on them. Is there anything from the Zoom? Or? I got one on the Zoom if you guys want to keep going. Go ahead. How, how encouraging was it to see the playmaking from Will, Monte get his legs under him? Like, it's, it's, sometimes it's not evident because Nicole is the guy, but like when he's out, there's more talent than just that. We're a deep team. Yeah. We're a really deep team. We can jump from anywhere, uh, anybody, any night. You know, so we understand that we just got to find a high hand, <laughs> ride with it. Are you ever in, like Mike's obviously hasn't hit his peak form yet this year. Are you in his ear at all? Just saying like, hey man, keep shooting, keep, keep firing. <laughs> of course, of course. You know, Mike is uh, one of the most skilled shooters I've ever been around. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not worried about Mike. He's going to keep shooting. I don't know. He's going to score for us. I mean, he's just, he, he's, not sweating it. He's so talented. He's been talented his whole life. He's been scoring his whole life. He's been shooting his whole life. Um, the dynamic of the contract. Uh, is, you know, he's going to get over that too and get back to playing the basketball. Is, sorry, go ahead. The Vince struggled a little bit tonight. Uh, only had 13 points. But they, they had a lot of good looks to the basket. Do, do you feel like it's just that they're on the cusp, but it's just a matter of those shots dropping? I think we just got to get our rotations right. Uh, you know, they play play hard, a uh, good defensive unit. Um, got to get our rotations right, but it's not, not up to me. You know, uh, in the previous game, the bench unit was the reason that we were in the game. And it was the starters that were messing up. So if we put it all together, we'd be fine. I will finish with uh, Esteban Abed on the Zoom. Go ahead, Esteban. Thank you. Hi, Aaron from Cordoba, Argentina. Seeing Nicola at halftime moving to try to get back into the game, did you and the team a little piece of mind to try to get uh, more confidence to the second half? Uh, can you repeat the question? Yes. Of course. Seeing Nicola at the half time moving, try to get back into the game, give you and the team a little peace of mind to try to come back uh, more, um, more hard to, or more ready to fight to the second half? Um, I honestly didn't even see you warming up. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I didn't know that was going on. Um, huh. So, uh, I mean, he's tough. Uh, I know um, it's always next man up. So uh, whether he's going to come back uh, this game or next game or miss a couple of games, we just got to go, go out there and continue to fight. All right. Thank you, Aaron. Uh,